Today, we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da. You Orion. This is standard. In the Game of Thrones, you either win or you die, just like Magic Arena. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and I'm going to do a typo series of things while this card is legal. We're going to do a variety of decks that I wouldn't normally play on ladder, and all of them are going to start with four copies of Roaming Throne, and we're going to play them in standard events and see which ones can get to seven wins. First try today starts with one of the greatest and most powerful typos in the multiverse. It's dragons. Dragons. And probably the coolest new thing I believe that I can do with dragons is cast a Sarkin Soul of Flame and then play an Incinerator of the Guilty, turn Sarkin into a copy of this new dragon, which when it hits the opponent, you can collect evidence and then you can deal X damage to each creature and Planeswalker, the player being damaged controls. So with a Sarkin on the field for five mana, we play the Incinerator, we turn Sarkin into a dragon, we hit our opponent, we collect some evidence from our graveyard, maybe we fill our graveyard with the elder dragon war or something like that and then we deal a ton of damage and wipe out all of their beautiful little creatures while punching them in the face drukaris we're going to make george our our mountain mountain proud forget i said it <laughs> editor remove that uh also to get our roaming thrones onto the battlefield and get to trigger that ability twice why would you need to? I, don't worry about it. Uh, I, uh, I, ow, ow, the Dawn Sky. This is a five mana dragon that when it dies can go into our deck, look at our top seven and put out something like a roaming throne or an elder dragon war. I think that inner, that sounds sick to me. And of course, in a dragon's deck, Zergo and Ojatai is an absolute must if you've got the colors, and Invasion of Tarkir is a must because we can deal a ton of damage with it with our dragons. So we're going to play this in an event and just see what kind of disaster we can cause uh, in our draconic ways. And I hope that you enjoy the idea of a little mini series. They won't all be in a row, but you know, here and there, you're going to sprinkle in the Game of Thrones as we're going to try Try to see which roaming throne deck can get the most wins in an event. Today's video is brought to you by Giannis Voss and his Kickstarter campaign. I've been talking about his tokens recently. I did a testimonial for them the other day, and I used them in a commander game the other day. It was great. Everybody wanted to know where I got them. But enough about it from me. We're going to let the man tell you himself. So let's let Giannis Voss in introduce his token kickstarter campaign and please check it out with the link in the description let's dive in let the nonsense begin hi i'm johannes voss i'm a magic artist i'm a passionate commander player and the decks i build always get super out of hand so i need a ton of tokens and that's why i've created my own token collection and i'm so stoked to be able to show you today speaking of boards I played tons of Commander and I took extra care to make these tokens as useful as possible. I know how important it is to keep complex game states clear and I chose a size that's slightly smaller than actual magic cards. So just like on Arena, you can instantly tell what is a token and what isn't. And your opponents will really feel it when you stump them with an army of fat squirrels. Of course I created original art for all of these, but that's just the start because these are actually sparkly tokens. They're made from thick plastic and have a special foil print that's sort of like metallic car paint, which looks amazing. They're also thick and sturdy and I play them unsleeved because they're so durable. Here's a closer look at the sparkly effect. And as you can see, when the light hits them, they just start glittering in all sorts of colors. And I've brought them to conventions and people just love them. They stand out on every board. The tokens included in this campaign are staples that go in every deck like treasures, copies, foods, and clues. We're starting the campaign with 21 different designs, and you can mix and match these however you like for your rewards. There's also going to be stretch goals, so with enough support, 
there's going to be a chance for you to vote for additional designs and there's a chance to get signed artist proofs. Let's help Giannis have an incredible Kickstarter campaign and pick up some sweet tokens to boot. Hit the link below in the description and in the comment section and join today. You only have until April 7th, so don't delay. Pause the video and go do it now. Now let's get back to the video. Let's kick off this Game of Thrones. Which typos can get to seven wins? The angels, of course, sitting in the winner's circle, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Can dragons join them? Well, we have early removal. That's something. We keep those. That counts as one. Ever queued up with the wrong deck before? Makes my MMR look too good, though. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I don't know, maybe they just went 0 2 drop. Let's try it again. We are on the draw for a second time. Let's get all of our on the draws out of the way in the first couple games. We have almost the exact same hand, which is fine. We might have to name human on one of these to cast our Sarkin. And we can't cast the Elder Dragon War without another red source. So there, there's some clunk. The cliffs, okay. The Cliffs Part 2. Ooh, the Crag. Don't show them the cavern. We'll name the Dragoon. And boom, Iron Crag. Though, can't cast Elder Dragon War. Can't cast the Sarkin unless we name Human on the Cavern. Actually, a pretty big draw coming up. Uh, Ral's Reinforcements. Well, this helps. Here's the Soul of Flame. Declining the trigger from the Iron Crag. We don't need a weapon just yet. What are you? A 3-2 Defender. When you draw your second card, it loses Defender and gains Vigilance. Well, well, well. I always get roasted in the comments because I don't know what the new player decks look like. Is this one of the new player decks? <laughs> It's one of my favorite ways to get roasted. All right, now we got the reef. We got the ow. You can't line. I would like to transform. Maybe they have a stoke the flames? Hi. Dragon. What do you think? You, you, you gonna take your five? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't you just wanna be a human shaman who can turn into dragons? Any dragon that you meet, you can just turn into that dragon for a day? Doesn't that just sound like a good life? Not to mention you're kind of ripped with some tattoos. Party! Okay. Our opponent partakes in the flying critar. More one ones. I got bad news for him. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Let's go, dragon. Unfortunately, we can't also cast the play with fire, but we can definitely do this. Chapter one. Boom. Your creatures. We find your creatures lacking. I'll send in the owl. The opponent could trade. But triggers are fun. They're lots of fun. Here we go. Here we go. Find me a throne. 
Triggers are lots of fun, he said. It's fine. Get that out of the way now. We gotta get those out of the way. Put an instant or sorcery from graveyard on top. Okay. More reinforcements have arrived. Oh my God. Hi, are there any dragons in this deck? Step right up. Hey, there we go. I believe this turns into a roaming throne. Yes, maybe, no, I don't know. Let's find out. Dragon. Trigger. <laughs> nice. So this does four, right? Or two? X damage, two plus any other target where X is the number of cards revealed. Oh, it doesn't count dragons on the battlefield. Why did, I'm thinking of a card that does. It's definitely a card that counts dragons on the battlefield, but this ain't it. Let's see if we can get this dragon flipped. And let's hold the reef. Next turn, this re... Leases a dragon that Sarkin then becomes. Want a tango? Oh my god. Not gonna lie, I feel tested here. <laughs> we haven't seen anything. Well, I will not be intimidated. <laughs> I will not back down. Shore up. And then my throne was dead. It's okay, there's three more and they're very close to the top. Look at that, Zergo and Oj. They're impressed? Yeah, yeah, dragons are impressive. But I'll do it again. It gets better. Decline. Oh, it only happens once? It loses that ability. So I can get them to one. I mean, I guess we... No, I can't. I can't get them to one. Forgot this one didn't have haste. I'm a little out of it. Mondays. I got a case on the Mondays. We're gonna have to wake up when the serious gamers come out to play. Anyway, Zergo and Ojitai triggers. Life couldn't be better. More Elder Dragon Wars? I guess so. Decline. Let's keep Zergo and Ojitai on the field. There's a play with fire. Let's grab that. Uh, ooh, I could get the Sarkin back, not the Saga. Define Thundermaw. Whenever a dragon attacks two damage, you will die. All right. Opponent? Impress me. You need... Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a card. Have you had enough pain? Q. When in doubt, attack all out. Never mind. 2 and 0, toughest wins of my career. Busted deck, obviously. Let's go. Ah, oh, on the play. Who needs dragons in a dragon deck? Dragon? Not a dragon. Crawling chorus. We toxic? All right. Roaming throne next. Naming dragon. Iron crag. Could name golem if they have mana up and it's blue. I feel something funny. 
Do we have to kill this or should we play the throne? How do they get through the throne? I mean, I guess they could just pump this and attack with it and trade. Part of me really wants to fight for the board though. Let's do it. Dragon. What? 4-4 four, four, ward two, it's enormous. What? That's cheating. That is cheating in the highest order. Dragons in my dragon deck? I think not. Bang. Bang. Do I attack this? Yeah. I, I've got four poison, but I have to, I have to progress the game. I've got to win too. I guess I could have transformed this with the play with fire. Look at them go. Look at them go. But will they block? But will they block? No. Five poison, huh? Six poison? Getting scary. Delny isn't game over though, right? It's just really freaking close. Seven. <laughs> ah, make it stop. No attacks is sus. Not even close. Never didn't have it. I don't. Don't ask. Don't ask what's happening. Dragons are in very intimidating, okay? Don't judge. Easiest three wins ever. Basically the Pro Tour, 3-0. Let's see what awaits us next. New thumbnail idea. Is dragons the most feared deck in Magic the Gathering? On the play, oh, if we don't draw the land, this game is over. We keep those. <laughs> 27 land deck, we'll draw one. We'll definitely draw one in the top two. Oh, easy. It's 25 out of 53. Opponent playing mono red, clearly. Which means which soccer frenzy is probably castable a lot sooner than we think. Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. How about another hasty creature? Do you have that? Oh, come on. All I needed was one more hasty. Why is it always double swift spear when I'm not prepared? That's okay. We'll get him this turn. We got the incinerator Sarkin combo. We just have to, you know, live. Unlikely, I know. Our opponent has realized peak experience. My God, you guys, two lands. I play all these cards and I attack with everything. Boom. Next. Got a reader. But no, all of my creatures, they died. Hi. Is that, that's the best you can do? Okay. So we want to play Sarkin and Invasion and we want to set up Incinerator. So we'll discard Zergo and Ojitai. 
Dragon. The soul is a flame. The invasion of Tarkir is at hand. I'll show them. Who knows? They might have a monstrous rage they're just holding. <laughs> Let's go a little bigger. Okay, so monstrous rage wouldn't do it, but I don't know what it. What what do they run? Infuriate, antagonize. <laughs> uh oh. Well, that's a good card. We decline this. Yes, we decline that, and then we incinerate the guilty. Nice. All right. X damage to that to each creature and planeswalker that player controls. Well, as you see, they have so many of those. I guess I'll just take out the invasion. Defiant Thundermaw. Hold the land because we might discard it to Celestis. Now, just don't die. Just don't die. Okay. Um, I would like to report report my opponent for cheating. They're using one mana cards to murder all my dragons. <laughs> they keep one on top, huh? I bet it's good. I will gain one life. Oh, how the mighty beasts have fallen. Is... Is this why people don't play dragons? Because size literally no longer matters. That hurts. That hurts so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. I... I had four dragons. I was attacking for lethal. On the draw, again. Keep. Turn one to rest? Siren, sure. Get ready for the bat. Or the Scoon Scoon. All right, we're in big trouble. Don't know if we can beat this. See if they use these maps and make this schooner big. But no, they're going for the siren, which is okay. They've got an Aklazots on top. They're a little ways away from using it, but they're going to keep it. So they must have land in hand. Okay, counter then, Ben. Riveting gameplay. Guess I'll keep hiding the white mana. We have to try to frenzy the schooner. Or something. Hopefully they use the siren so we get a little bit of a break from the damage. It looks like we will.
opponent uses their gargantuan brain to cast the counter spell they had. Their hand is busted, what can you say? Can't go for the throat this though. Of course they had two, and of course we had no cavern. I think I've seen enough. There are other games I could play. No, that was a nightmare. <laughs> that was terrible. Please make that stop. All right. Now we got our back against the wall. We haven't won what I would call a reasonable game. Deck is currently weirdly the opposite of proven. <laughs> but, but it's been a weird event. Events are weird sometimes. I have removal. Opponent's gonna do Boros. Eh. Gotta get your life. They're gonna regret that though. I guess not, because now we drew this play with fire. Name Dragon. No need to reveal here. Boros tokens mede. They have made a luminous phantom. Will this be the game where the guilty are incinerated? Forge? I mean, do we really, does anybody care? Might as well. I don't think they're going to provide many or any good targets, so we just need our life total to stay high. All right, please draw a roaming throne or, you know, one of my four drops. I've got a lot of them. All right, I see how it is. I see us. Her two. Uprising makes humans good for them. All right. Let's uh, pick on our invasion, put it in range. Come on, baby. Frenzy throne. This throne's fine. Uh, return to hand, decline. We need board presence. They might be a deck that wraths the board, but I think we take our chances. I've seen so many token Sunfall decks. Eh, okay, what are they gonna do? I think they are going to Sunfall. Let's just block here. Okay, bro end. Fine with me. We get to keep Zergo and Ojitai, that's epic. And we get to combo it with the Roaming Throne. Now we know they run small sweepers to go with their small creatures. Weird, yes. Might as well keep roaming. We're at 16 and there's a 4-1 coming. I think I'll discard a card to prevent four damage. They showed us a Brotherhood's End. I will test them for it again. I 
keeps him busy. Ta-da! <laughs> if they had the land, they'd be able to have cast two, you know, if they had had it last turn. Unfortunate. This one. Dragon! <laughs> we do it again. All right, invasion, elder dragon war. Take the invasion. Decline, and I'll take the land. Decline. So how much face? One, two, three. Gotta try to kill him. Can't let this drag out. They're certainly in range of getting some damage in. Another uprising. So the lucky number is 13, and then they can do 7 to any target, right? So 9, this is 10, 11, 12, Forge is 13. So we need to disrupt this. If they attack with the token, we're fine, but they might not. What? Opponent? Opponent? What are you doing? How are you going to trigger these if your creature dies? I mean, they're thinking it through. It is a call. It is a tough call. And the attack it is. Bang. Here's their one ones, and they're at 11. Too bad this doesn't gain haste. <laughs> that would be so nice. Eight health. I guess we should do combat. They must block. Triggers. Invasion. What do we need? One more dragon? Um... One, two, three, four. That works. Cheating, but better. Reveal, reveal. Bang. Burn strategy unlocked. Boros token deck reduced to ash. Dracarys. One more win. For the even money dance. In our first game of thrones. Let's go. We can't let Boros win. We can't let Mono Red win. We must Dracarys all over them. Oh, tell me it's dinos. Can't wait to play Rolling Throne, Roaming Throne dinos. Okay, we're on the draw with the removal hand. We keep. <gasps> Oh no, we do keep, but there are no dragons in our dragon deck. For a burn deck. Don't, don't demolition it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Can hate this game. <laughs> Yay, spot removal against Boros, lucky us. <laughs> Lucky, lucky us. Come on, brother. Uh, come on, what is it? The, the, the saga, we need the saga. Elder Dragon War. Two damage to all your critters. I run four of them. I came prepared for this moment. Come on, man. Okay, okay, they're not convoking. I thought for sure that would be a knight errant of Eos, but it's not. I still don't have the dragon for this. So we need to frenzy this. Very doable, right? So if we do this.
see what they do. Epicur. Oh my god. Okay. Let's cry it again. Yeah. So good. So good, dude. You're so good at magic. Could you stop? All right, again? <laughs> We're keeping the army small to the best of our ability. If they're holding priority, it's got to be resolute reinforcements, which is another card I cannot beat here. I think I have to frenzy the warden, though, which is not where I want to be. I guess if they grow the warden, attack in the air, and I play Ow next turn, it's okay. But if I don't draw the land, I'm in big trouble. I guess we have to get something down. Come on, where's the dragon war when you need it? Run four, can't draw. But I'll draw all of my spot removal. No kidding. Nobody saw that coming. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. asking a lot it was asking a lot for the dragons to do stuff this event was freaking weird um maybe next time we'll be able to show boros where its own butthole is <laughs> ah take this useless pack i guess we have to open the pack and uh dragons you failed at the game of thrones but you were the first run at it i'm sure we'll only get better at wielding the throne Today's random cool kid shout out goes to Marcus Mahez. If you would like to join and get early access to the videos as well as the shout out a random shout out, hit the join button. It's only $4.99 a month. Supports the channel. Marcus, you're cool. And yes, the dragons, they ran into a wall. They couldn't overcome it. What a weird event. What a, what a, some weird victories, <laughs> some bizarre defeats. But let's be honest. The dragons need a little bit of support to be the deck in standard that we want them to be. But there are other typos coming up that might make better use of this particularly spiky, funky moving chair. So if you have a typo deck that you want to see play the Game of Thrones and try to get to seven wins an event, leave me a comment. Let me know which ones you want to see. And check out Giannis Voss's token collection. The link below in the Kickstarter. Remember, it's only got a few more days to go. So get these while you have the opportunity. And thanks again for sponsoring this video. And thank you. You stayed all the way till the end of the video. That is the best thing that you can do to support my content. If you would like to do more, you can hit the join button and be a Cool Kids Club member and get early access to my videos. You can hit that button right below. But some free things you can do if giving me money just ain't on the menu for you. That's okay. You can hit like. You can hit subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool. Covert Go Blue has mastered the skies, so now he's ready to become the true apex predator by taming a T-Rex. Check out the Covert Go Blue Dinosaur Rider playmat, featuring CGB astride the king of the dinosaurs. Each playmat comes with a free Dinosaur Rider token, so get your hands on this prehistoric prize and pick up Covert Go Blue's Dinosaur Rider playmat today at coolstuffinc.com CGB. Coolstuffinc.com. Cool stuff in stock.